All right, so now we're on part four, which is the most challenging part right now um, for this trailer log. Um, so what you're looking at here is the hitch um, that goes to my SUV. Um, and it's not going to be easy because I'm doing it by myself. Uh, let me show you the box that it came in. Well, not this side, but um, yeah, it had two big holes in it. Um, I'm surprised that uh, the hardware wasn't lost for it, or at least I hope it's still not lost. That's the hardware that's uh, shrink wrapped to the receiver right now. And um, already lowered the spare tire. And you see, I got it up on the ramp. So I already lowered the spare tire. And from other videos that I've seen, I would have to lower the um, exhaust. So we're going to see how this is going to work. All right, so what you're looking at is the undercarriage for a 05 Pacifica. Um, first of all let's start with the beginning uh, this is the cable for the spare tire you do have to let the spare tire down um, it makes it a lot easier uh, second thing is this is the right side of the vehicle um, what you're looking at here is the mount the rubber mounts for the exhaust system there's two of them one here one here spray some lubricant on them I just used the WD-40 um, you can use a flathead screwdriver, pry bar, or whatever. They slide right off very easily. Before you do that, you possibly might want to use a ratchet tie or something to hold the exhaust. Me, I didn't have it with me and I wasn't going back to the warehouse to go get it right now. Um, you can use even a wire hanger. Um, I'm using this milk crate right now and it's holding it perfectly. And um, you know once we go from there second thing is you want to this is the driver's side now so you want to remove um, these two bolts which is holding the brackets for the bumper um, you can see the holes here already got this side loose and you'll do the same thing on the passenger side if you have one of these vehicles and you have dual exhaust yes you would have to lower both uh, mufflers uh, to get to this um, this is a 18, mill 18 millimeter socket is needed to take this down it's not going to fall down or anything I already took this one loose as you can see the passenger side is already loose once that is done now you can start um, to fish your uh, carriage bolts in which that's what we're going to do next alright so first thing we're going to do we're going to install the hardware. This here is the carriage bolt. And by the way, all of this hardware uh, should come with the hitch. No matter what type of vehicle, all of your hardware should come with the hitch. Uh, we have this carriage bolt. And I have this flat metal piece here. What we're going to do, that is going to be installed right here into the square hole. And we're going to use, I have one already set up here, the fishing wire. We're going to push that through, and then we're going to pull the carriage bolt through. It's going to drop right in place. Don't pull it too hard because you don't want to uh, drop the carriage bolt or have the uh, fishing wire come loose from the carriage bolt. So you're going to gently pull it through and let it drop right in that hole. All right, so. I fished it through this hole here, bam, it dropped right in place, um, and then we're going to unwind the fishing wire from the carriage boat, and then we're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. Alright, so left side already dropped in place, and right side is in place. All right, so I got the hitch sitting in the back of the SUV here. Um, what we're gonna do, there's a washer 
that we have to place on here and to hold it in place I'm just going to put a piece of tape on it and we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay so it's just this flat washer here and uh, you know again we're going to put a piece of tape on it just to hold it in place and that way it's easier to line it up on the bolt all right so I'm just using some uh, cheap uh, electrical tape that I had here um, so I got two pieces actually holding it in tape wasn't holding that well um, actually what would have hold better some gaff tape uh, so I got that one in and got that one in as well so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, putting the hitch up okay so uh, <laughs> kind of hard for me to explain how I got this up but uh, kind of like laid down and benched it up hold it up with one hand and put the bolt in on one side <clears throat> Uh, I don't recommend doing this by yourself. This is a two-man job. Let me get some light on here. Okay, there we go. Uh, definitely a two-man job. And what you want to do... Uh, well, first of all, let me back up. The washers that I taped down, I had them on the wrong side. I had them on the bottom side when they should have been on the top side. Um, which brings me to this part so let me show you guys this real quick if you can see that there are some ridges on this on this one here this is the gold washer that's what's going to go on the bottom side of the uh hitch um it, you can tape this on as well is the silver one or the nickel plated one or whatever it is on the top so this goes on the bottom the other one goes on the top and put your nut screw your nut in on the carriage bolt leave it kind of loose because you're gonna uh, need the hitch to move around a little bit and you're gonna do the same thing on the right side I do have both sides up right now again <laughs> kind of hard to explain how I did it but I got it up there muscled it up there um, this is really supposed to be a two-man job, but um, I'm going to prove a couple of people wrong that I can do it myself. All right, so let me see if I can get it to focus here. All right, so what you see here, this bolt is already mounted in. And let me show you guys how uh, I got it in. Same way how we fish this one through with the carriage bolt and the flat metal piece. You're going to do the same thing with this one, this hole here, and this hole. But now, instead of the access point being on the side, now the access point is going to be on the bottom from here. You might have to fool around with it a little um, to get it through. This one here, I, I believe it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I, I got this one in without no problem. It's hand tightened right now, and you're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. All right, y'all, so I got these two fish through. Uh, this one was a little bit more difficult to get through the hole because of this one here. Um, you might have to stick your finger up through the access hole to, to uh, fool around with it. Um, for some reason, I said, let me try this one first, which should have been the hardest one. And I got it to come right through. This one came through without no problem. Um, this is already tightened up um, this one is already tightened up same thing on the other side uh, those are the 18 millimeters and you want to get 19 millimeters to tighten these up um, which I'm getting ready to do right now and that's going to be it for the hitch all right so um, with these here like I said you're using 19 but you need a deep socket for it because once you tighten them up, uh, if you're using a short socket, you're not going to be able to reach the nuts in order to type, tighten them up properly. So I'm using a deep socket right now. And then um, I'll come back through um, probably with the, with the uh, torque wrench to tighten them up to specs. And let's see, almost done it this one I'll just tighten it up as much as I can now and then I'll come back through with the torque wrench all 
and this last one here which I need both hands for so off goes the camera for now okay and let me see if I can focus here a little all right there we go so I got this one tightened and I'm gonna just come through with the torque wrench and that's it that's it for the hitch right now um, then we'll move on to the next one all right and by the way it took me um, a little over an hour to do it but again remember this is supposed to be a two-man job I did it myself um, I don't recommend it because um, it was almost like I bench pressed the hitch to get it up to this first one to um, catch that first nut and get it screwed on and then catch the second one after so I don't recommend doing it by yourself um, if you can get help and uh, that's it